the brief uh, to the uh, four different design companies who we asked to pitch to us was how you're going to keep us relevant and yet make us different from everybody else. We listened to those four briefs and were incredibly impressed by Darren and Red from Red Design. Um, we, we looked at some of their work, we flew to Melbourne, looked at some of the work that they'd done down there. We were very impressed by, not just by what they'd done at Crown Casino, but what they'd done in a number of um, uh, retail stores. It was different, it was unique. Uh, they had some great ideas for us. Uh, what we got, and if anybody uh, comes to look at what's been achieved here, is something absolutely unique, uh, and that was the win for us. Finding someone who would who could a understand the brief and b understand the financial limitations, and still produce something for us that had wow. Red did that. What I've really enjoyed about working with Red is we've worked together. Uh, they've understood uh, Emma and Darren and others have understood the exigencies of the financial brief, as well as uh, the importance of getting the design right. So being able to work that way uh, cooperatively has made it a lot easier for me. I don't feel like I'm constantly breaking the designer's heart. Um, and that's produced a really good outcome, a really good working relationship. Uh, Red managed to also incorporate a number of local elements. The Guy Mir Lily became a centerpiece of it because here in Guy Mir, uh, that was important. And if you look at the foyer and what you see down there is the wow factor really incorporates so much of the beach feel, the local greenery, everything about what they've done is not just five star, but it's community as well. Uh, and that was the brief and uh, it's been absolutely fantastic.